Right through Shiraz, the path goes of perfection. Anyone in Shiraz knows its direction. These were the words of the famous Persian Sufi poet Hafez, and they ring true today, a cultural quest that endures. Here, proclaimed John Fryer, grow the loftiest cypresses in the universe. A visitor to Shiraz descends down the mountain way. It's a dramatic sight, blue domes sparkling, framed by the arch of the Koran Gate. The pass is called Allah o Akbar, God is great in recognition of the generation of travellers who have stood here expressing wonderment at the city view. A breeze of Aryan cultural diversity blows through Shiraz, four times the capital of Iran. Resplendent garden tombs honour artists, writers and philosophers, including the great Islamic poet Saadi. Here a castle protects ancient treasures. The historical importance of Shiraz can be seen at the ruins of Takhi Jamshid, better known to the world as Persephone's. The Shiraz road leads to this massive monument of solidity. The wall built into a leveled mountaintop stands 59 feet tall. From a great entrance, there are 111 steps. These are massive and rugged and magnificently proportioned for either horse or man to ascend with ease. The palace complex housed the king, his harem and the courtyard. Each solar new year in March, the Persian king received gifts from 23 empirical states. That included all of the known world. A succession of ten monarchs added buildings to the royal platform and three palaces were built on the site. While much of Persephone's has been pilfered over time, a statue of Homer, the legendary bird of good luck, has survived. What a marvellous structure. Tell me, whatever happened to Persephone's? According to what historians have recorded in their books, this was Alexander the Great who set fire to Persephone's. Since Persepolis was a symbol of Persian unity, he wanted to declare to the whole world that the Achaemenian Empire has been terminated. Whatever happened to him? Well, he ruled for 20 years and had a natural death and was buried in a place called Naqsh Rostam.
The exact date of the founding of Persepolis is not known. It is assumed that Darius I began work on the platform and its structures between 518 and 516 BC. Darius visualized Persephone as a showplace and the seat of his vast empire. The second largest building of the Persephone Terrace was the Throne Hall, also called the 100 Column Hall. In the early days, the hall was mainly used for receptions for representatives of all the subject nations of the empire. Adjacent to the throne hall was the treasury, which was the king's royal store while doubling as an armory. The splendor of Persephone, however, was short-lived. The palaces were looted and burned by Alexander the Great in 1334 BC. It is said that the conqueror carried away the treasures on 20,000 mules and 5,000 camels. Yet regardless of all that's gone, one can still sense the grandeur that once reigned here. 